It's the WP Minute. This episode is brought to you by Press Titan. You can find Press Titan at PressTitan.com. Let Press Titan manage your web presence so you can get back what really matters to you, serving your customers. Check out PressTitan.com. If you want to sponsor the WP Minute, we have sponsorship spots available. Check out the link in the description to sponsor the WP Minute. You know how it goes. Everything I mention here will be linked up in the newsletter and the blog post. Check out the WPMinute.com for the links. In the news, it was recently reported that you can purchase six popular automatic plugins right from your WordPress.com dashboard. Donna Cavalier shares what's coming for plugins, themes, and services that will be additionally available for purchasing right through WordPress.com dashboards to expand your options. You can sign up over on WordPress.com for early access if you'd like to know what is coming next. The Museum of Block Art, MOBA, is a cool pop-up site of virtual block art. This site was recently created by community members in the WordPress world. With WordPress 5.8 and 5.9 coming out with nifty design tools, members decide to show what can be created. It's worth your time to check out the site for beautiful block ideas. See how to create your own new designs. Even copy-paste the code to put them onto your website. WooCommerce 6.3 was released. The updates include changes to WooCommerce blocks, WooCommerce admin, and the product attributes lookup table. You can check out release posts for 6.8 and 6.9 to see what's new. This release should be backwards compatible with the previous version. From the security world, Patchstack released their state of WordPress security in 2021. The highlights? New WordPress security vulnerabilities were up 150% compared to the previous year. 29% of WordPress plugins with critical vulnerabilities received no patches. 99.42% of vulnerabilities originated from plugins and themes, compared to 96.22 in 2020. From our contributors and producers, Jonathan Bossinger has released a plugin in the WordPress repo that displays a customized banner and link on your site to show solidarity for Ukraine. You can check out an example of how he has used hashtag stand with Ukraine. WordFence has been standing with Ukraine by blocking lots of malicious requests aimed at their sites. They deploy their commercial real-time threat intelligence for free to all Ukraine websites with the .ua top-level domain. Jeff Galinsky, hey, I know that guy, announced the facelift of WP Scan. WP Scan joined Automatic Family last year. The latest issue of Gutenberg Times covers a lot of the new features of blocks and patterns. In Gutenberg 12.7, there are many March social learning events listed in the issue as well if you would like to participate and keep up with the latest developments. The WP Minute discussion continued this week about the retirement of WordPress multi-site. Chris Weigman wrote a great article on where multi-site shines. His article is worth checking out for sure. Next up, it's the Simplified Business Minute by Sam Munoz. Hello there. This is Sam Munoz, co-host of the Making Website Magic podcast with your Simplified Business Minute. Today, I wanted to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you about creating boundaries around your working hours. We've all been there. It's 10 p.m. and we went to quickly open our laptop and bam, there's an email from a client with a request for their website. You might feel the pull to get that task completed right then and there. It'll only take five minutes, right? But I invite you to pause. What are your working hours? Have you communicated those to your clients? Are you available for 24 seven support? And if you are, I certainly hope you are charging for that. In our field, we spend a lot of time putting out fires, answering questions and supporting our clients, but it's important to take time away from work to prevent burnout. To make sure my clients and I are all on the same page, I use an autoresponder with my office hours and where they can go if they need urgent support when I'm not available. That way, I can feel good stepping away from my computer and feel like I'm not letting my clients down in the meantime. Now, no one is perfect, so if you feel the pull to do that late night support request, go for it. This is your business after all. But it's also okay to remember that you are not a machine. Thanks to all of the members who shared these links today. Jeff Chandler, Daniel Schutzmith, Michelle for Shep Beard, Polly Hack, and Eric Karkovac. Thanks to you, our dear listener, for tuning in to your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every week. Buy us a digital coffee for as little as $5 or better yet. Join our community of WordPress newsies. Get access to our Discord server, private podcast behind the scenes and how the news is made, and better yet, get your voice heard on the podcast. Join for $79 for the year to support the show, becoming a producer at buymeacoffee.com slash mattreport. buymeacoffee.com slash mattreport. Thanks, Mary Job, who supported us this week buying us a virtual coffee. Thanks, Mary. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it wherever you do social media and jump on the mailing list at the WP Minute. 
www.thepowerbrand.com. 